Hey everybody, welcome back to the Light Side Music Reactions. Today we've got a new song for you, at least it's a new one for, for me. Um, it actually came out in 2002, and this is an artist that we've already heard from on this channel a couple times, and uh, we're going to hear him one more time today. It's Randy Travis singing a song called That's Jesus. This is a new one for me. I haven't heard this song to, uh, before. And the reason why I'm reacting to it today, uh, reacting to Randy Travis, is uh, today Randy Travis and his wife appeared before Congress to testify in a hearing that they are having on music and copyright. And uh, so here's uh, just a quick clip of uh, you know what happened today in Congress. And I'm going to take just one minute of a privilege for this for a good reason. Of a day were dark and deeper than the night. Now, I would love to play the whole thing, but the chairman is waiting. I now recognize the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. I, I, Jordan. I wanted, I wanted to keep listening. I, I, grew up, I grew up under the old joke, and in my mom and dad's household, there were, you know, two kinds of music, country and western, right? That's <laughs> how, uh, it is... Uh, okay, so um, that's what's going on today in the world. As of the time I record this, uh, by the time you actually, by the time I actually uploaded it, it's probably been a couple days ago. Uh, but anyway, um, the song is called That's Jesus, and I haven't heard it before. And so let's go ahead and check it out. And uh, as always, um, you know, if you want to check out the original song, uh, the link is in the description below. You can go over and check out the original video on there as well. So let's go ahead and listen to it together. This is Randy Travis singing uh, That's Jesus, and it's from the same album. The album is called Rise and Shine, and it's the same album that the, song, the other song, one of the other songs we reacted to recently from him is on. And the song was Three Wooden Crosses, and both from the same album, Rise and Shine. So once again, here we go with Randy Travis singing That's Jesus. Okay, so this is a little bit different from uh, the other songs that we've heard from him. Um, you know, a lot of times you'll hear country singers sing music and songs that have like a spiritual uh, background, uh, subtext to it. Like, uh, for example, Three Wooden Crosses. But it's a modern story, basically, especially in country music you hear that a lot. We talked about that. Is how a lot of, especially the older country music, are story songs. And uh, so you've got this uh, story... Um, that has like a spiritual message in it and uh, that's very popular in country music and um, I really enjoy a lot of those songs this one's a little bit different sounds like it's more of a, a introspective sort of thing it's not necessarily an actual story but it's actually him singing about what his faith means to him and uh, we hear that occasionally in country music and in other other, other genres as well um, but I think it's a little bit more rare. Usually, it's uh, this is more like of a praise and worship sort of thing, lyrically, than uh, you know it's from a third person perspective, not a first person, as if you were saying uh, singing to God, but you're singing to the audience about God. Um, and so that's uh, more of a uh, it's kind of unusual to hear that in country music. Um, you know, it's not it's not completely unheard of. Um, but as I said, you know, it's, it's rare compared to, uh, the other type of songs that have the spiritual subtext. I was lost and all alone, my heart in need of help. I found eternal life and lost my fear of death. Because I know the author of my every breath, that's Jesus. Jesus. Okay, second half of the first verse. I like that too. Um, I was lost and all alone. Um, you know, the same uh, 
sort of theme as you get from Amazing Grace. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was blind, but now I can see. And then along those same lines, I was lost and all alone. But then I found eternal life and lost my fear of death. And so, uh, you know, he's talking about that same story as the song Amazing Grace. Um, and uh, he's basically given his testimony about how I used to be lost. I used to be, you know, just wandering in this world, not knowing what what life had in store for me. Uh, not only this life, but the life to come. And uh, I was living in fear, in fear of death. But now I no longer fear death because I know the author of my every breath. That's Jesus. That's Jesus. I'm liking this so far. Now we're, it sounds like we're getting into the chorus. It says it's a praise and worship song. Okay, I'm liking this a lot. You know, it's got a lot of depth to it. It starts out as uh, an introspective sort of uh, song about God, about his faith, and about how he, about what Jesus means to him. And then the second half of the first verse, he talks about his personal testimony, his conversion, about how he was wandering around lost, uh, spiritually speaking, and then he came to know Jesus. And then we get to the, the chorus, and he's singing just absolute praise to God, saying, God of glory and majesty. You know, uh, it's like the other praise courses we're probably more familiar with. Majesty, worship is majesty, stuff like that. You know, the stuff that you sing here, sung in churches. That's basically what this chorus is. It's almost a hymn, um, a modern hymn. And then uh, who's the one I long to see? That's Jesus. Oh, that's Jesus. And then, by the way, that line there uh, reminds me of the Dolly Parton song she did. I think it was a duet. Um, there was Jesus. Oh, beautiful song. Um, I would react to it on this channel uh, so you get a chance to hear it. But I've heard it, and I know it so well. I love that song. Um, but if you get it, go ahead and look up that song. It's Dolly Parton singing a duet, and I forget who she sings it with. But it's called uh, There Was Jesus. Gorgeous, beautiful song of praise. And, uh, you know, I get emotional hearing it. Um, it's one of those songs that really touches you. But uh, that line there, that's Jesus. Oh, that's Jesus. Reminds me a lot of that song. But yeah, this is beautiful how he's, uh, how this is coming together. I'm really enjoying this. Okay, back into the chorus again. All right, so it is. This song has just got every aspect of uh, what a uh, a Christian uh, witnessing song should be about. You know, like I just said, I described the first verse, the first half, and how it transitioned into the second half. Two different, completely styles. Two different, complete, two completely different styles. And then you get into the chorus, and then you know, but those were both about talking to the audience, and then the. The, 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 then you get to the chorus where he's actually singing his praise to God. And then in the, 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 uh, then the second verse, he turns his focus to sharing that with you, the audience, is saying, okay, I've already told you of who this guy is. I've told you what he means to me. And now I'm telling you what he can mean for you. If you're a soul that's lost in a need of direction, you wonder if you'll die well, you wonder when you die if you'll go to heaven. Well, friend, I found the answer to that very question. That's Jesus. And that is the answer to that very question. And the, the answer really determines on your reaction to Jesus. The answer to the question is Jesus. He is the answer. He is the way. Jesus said, I am the door. No man enters uh, gets to heaven except if he goes through the door. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. And no man comes to the Father and gets to heaven except through me. And this is important because we all die. 
you know, physically in this life on this earth, that's just a fact of life is that you're born, you live, and then you die. But what happens when you die? What happens? Do, do you get just buried in the ground and you just cease to exist? Some people believe that. Some people believe in reincarnation that you come back and get a second chance and maybe uh, an infinite amount of chances. You just live a different life over and over again. Um, I don't believe that. I believe, as the Bible teaches, uh, and what Randy is uh, talking about here, is that when we die, uh, there, is one, there is one of two options. You either go to heaven or you don't. And uh, the, the other option, not going to heaven, is not a pretty one. We'll just put it that way <laughs> without getting in too deep into theology here. But uh, the important thing is that we need Jesus in order to get into heaven. You know, we can live our lives trying to be a good person, but you can't get into heaven just by being a good person. And uh, once again, I'm not going to get too deep in theology on this video. Um, we can say that for another time. You can watch my other uh, ministry channel or even on some of the videos on here. I've commented on that in, in some, uh, you know, more appropriate settings. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, it's very important that we know what's going to happen when we die because this life is just temporary. And when we leave this, this world, there is eternity waiting for us. And our choice, I mean, it's our choice as to what that eternity will be like for us and how we respond to Jesus with that grace, with that mercy, that love, that free gift of salvation, of eternal life that he offers us. If you are one of those souls, as he said, lost in the need of direction, and you don't know the answers to what's going to happen to you when you die. Jesus is the answer to that question. And all you have to do is accept him and follow him. That's it. That's the message of this song. Is that is the answer to all of your questions. The meaning of life. That's it. It's Jesus. Okay, let's get back into the final course here. All right, so there we have it. Randy Travis singing that Jesus. Okay, this was a, a nice little song, pretty uh, pretty plain and straightforward. Uh, there wasn't anything overly spectacular about it that would make this a number one hit by any means. Um, there's no fancy vocal work on it. Um, you know, on the chorus, there's that little uh, thing he does in that, that second line. The Holy One Who Died For Me is a little bit fancy. Um, but that's as fancy as he gets on this. You know, it's just a straightforward um, you know, lyrics, lyrically song, uh, that he has just intended to share that message and that's it, you know, nothing fancy. Um, and it, it gets the point across and it does what it needs to do. And uh, so I understand why it did hit number one on the charts and I've, I've never heard of it before today, even though it's been out for, you know, over a decade. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm glad to, to react to this and hear it for the first time. But yeah, um, I, Encourage all of you, you know, if you are a Christian, then share that same message like Randy just did with all your friends and neighbors uh, out of love because um, it's a very sad thing for those that uh, leave this world unprepared. Um, but, for, but for those of us that are prepared, um, there's no better, no better thing. You know, funerals are, are, are a sad time because we miss our loved ones. But for those that die, that are that are saved, um, it's a time of rejoicing and celebration because they're going home to their eternal reward. And it's they're, they're in a far better place than we could have ever imagined here on this earth. So um, if you want that peace of mind, if you want that, uh, you want if you want to be able to know with confidence that you are going to a better place when you die, and that uh, what is awaiting in store for you is far better than anything you could have ever experienced or imagined in this life, then uh, I just encourage you 
uh, to realize that that answer is Jesus. As Larry Norman said in one of his songs back in the 70s, why don't you look into Jesus? He's got the answers. Just look into Jesus. That's my message for you today. That's the message from Randy Travis's song. Uh, thank you to all of you guys who are subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate all of you, and especially those of you that recommend songs for me to listen to. Um, if you have a song or an artist that you want me to check out, go ahead and comment down in the comments section below. And if I react to your suggestion, I will send you a shout out here on the video in which I react to your suggestion. And also, uh, of course, if you like this video, hit the like button. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know when we add new content. We've got all kinds of different stuff on here. So check out our playlists. Uh, we've got some different content on there. We've got, of course, these videos, uh, the uh, music reactions. We've also got reaction reviews where I react to TV and movie trailers. Uh, we've got our weekend muck club where we uh, taste and sample different foods and review them. And then uh, we've got uh, the Delight Side Conversations, which is uh, a fairly new uh, project that I've started up. And we've only got two episodes out so far, but we will have more in the future of where I interview different people from different backgrounds in life that are hopefully interesting and uh, that their their content and their and, there, and the conversation that we have uh, would be interesting to you. But anyway, check all that out, and hopefully there's more stuff on there that you like as much as you like this. And uh, you know, come back next time for more uh, content on this channel. And thank you all. I appreciate every one of you, and we'll see you next time. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.